Uh, my name is Lane Michael Stanley. I use he, they pronouns interchangeably. I'm a white transmasculine person with a shaved head, black glasses and piercings, I'm wearing a gray collared shirt, and I'm sitting in front of a very full bookshelf and my trans flag. Uh, this excerpt is from Rainfall Special on Me, a play about chronic homelessness that I developed through years of community-based workshops with people experiencing homelessness in Austin, Texas. Please note this excerpt contains discussions of addiction, sexual assault, incarceration, violence, and suicide. I'll be reading for Julie, a mixed race 18 year old just waking up from sleeping off a bender and Andy Miares will be reading for Miss Candace, a 66 year old woman who brings her dog Roscoe everywhere with her. It's not like I have a problem. I mean, I feel like people hear meth and they automatically think it's a problem, you know, but it's like, they never consider that you might need to run a mile a minute because there's something behind you. And they say you're running around with skeezy guys, but like, they're not gonna do anything worse than daddy did. So everyone gets so stressed, like, you have a meth problem, like you're homeless and we've got to save you. And I'm like, listen, I'm all good. I've got a nice crystal solution. So no help needed from you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? All Roscoe knows is that he heard meth is bad for you. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not a fruit smoothie. It makes your face explode and your teeth fall out. Have your teeth fallen out? No. Well, they will, don't worry. You can collect them and wear them as a necklace. Okay, I'm just saying, like I called my mom when I got locked up, right? And she's like, oh my God, assaulting an officer. Look what meth is doing to you. And I'm like, yeah, okay, meth's doing it. That's a funny nickname for dad. Like she straight up told me she divorced him and now suddenly it turns out they never finalized it and they're getting little coffees. Like apparently walking in on your 14 year old daughter getting drunkenly fucked by her father is only worth two years of separation. And I don't care if it was one bad day. One is way too many times to fuck your daughter. And she's acting like divorcing a white man will get her sent back to Mishwa Khan under this administration and I'm like oh my god you're fine it's probably super pretty and like the rainforest there with cool birds and she's trying to tell me he's gotten help and he's better now and he went through rehab but I don't have to forgive him just because he made some sand gardens I would like to make a sand garden and besides if we're calling throwing a meth pipe assault well I'm not the only one that should be in jail what just because mine hit a cop fuck that wasn't even my fault, but she said she's sure I've done plenty to get arrested, which is completely rude. And so my trader mom refused to pay bail and let me sit in there to think about my choices, she said. But I'm better off out here. There's people watch out for me now, you know? Not like when I was staying with friends and their moms threw me out just because like one or two bottles went missing. And not when I was at the Sally with their oppressive curfew and more sobriety rules. Like people actually give a shit about me out here. Sleep under the goddamn stars like Mikey's always saying. Because listen, strangers never did nothing to me. It's always been the men I knew and trusted. Those are the ones to watch out for. The ones who'll try to spring an amends on you like there's anything they could do to make it better besides shooting themselves and letting you watch. Nothing bad ever happened to me in the fresh air. When I'm thinking about the worst days of my life, all the worst, most fucked up bullshit that ever happened to me, it all happened in the comfort of my own home. Roscoe loves it out here on the streets. That's where the biggest rats are. But I always tell him that it'd sure be nice if we got housed up and had some spatulas and a place to put our things. You don't listen. Maybe he's the one who keeps changing my appointments with my caseworker without telling me. Roscoe, are you making me miss my appointments to get us housed up? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Like there's worse things than being homeless is all I'm saying. You know who the most famous homeless man is? Who? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Candace laughs so hard it makes Julie laugh too. Miss Candace feeds Roscoe. Julie watches her for a few moments. People say they want to help you, but they always want something in return. Roscoe never wants nothing. He must want some things. Nothing more than food in his belly. He's better than people then. A friend of mine had him, Diana, and she wasn't doing so good. So I started looking after him a bit because streets look after each other, don't it? Do you say so? Well, the more I'm looking after Roscoe, the more I'm thinking, Man, I'm a small woman and I'm by myself a lot. And I don't know whether he'd scare nobody off, but he'd at least wake up and bark, you know, if someone was coming at me. I think he'd be more of a like, what's the word for like a messenger of death or like a bringer, right? Like a, harbinger? yeah, he'd be like a harbinger. So at least if somebody was coming at me, I think he could get his shit together enough to say bark, bark. And that'd give me a little bit of a, 
heads up and that might be really all I need because I will scream in a motherfucker's face. That's what I'm thinking. So do you have a dog? What, me? Yeah, who do you think I'm talking to? No, I don't have a dog. Well, Roscoe goes with me every single place I go. Since that friend went off, I don't know where. Well, I don't know where she went, but I know where she turned up and that was in one of them dumpsters off of Sixth. And the police said it was a suicide, but I don't know nobody who commits suicide in a dumpster by stabbing herself in the face. Oh. She was a nice lady, but that's what nice gets you. So now Roscoe's with me and we spent every single second together. Yes, we have. You find your Roscoe and you'll be just fine out there. End of excerpt. Thank you.